Hello and welcome to the continuation of our higher tier GCSE Maths Grades 4 to 9 series. Today we're going to be looking at the topic of the sine rule and the cosine rule. This is going to be part of a three video mini series and in this first video we're really just going to be addressing one simple question. Do I use the sine rule or do I use the cosine rule? Over the years I found that students often get really confused with which technique to use when they're presented with a triangle which is non-right angle. So as you can see, um, with our four questions here today, all of these triangles are non-right angle triangles, so when asked to find um, a side or an angle, you're presented with the problem of first deciding whether to use the sine or cosine rule. So this is going to be the essence of today's uh, lesson. In lesson two, or video two, we'll be looking at how to use the sine rule, so the actual formula and how the mechanics of it works. Uh, and then of course in lesson three, we'll be looking at how to use the cosine rule. A slightly more difficult formula. Okay so that's the um, overview of what we're going to be doing for the next three lessons. Okay so like with the previous tutorials we have four questions to have a look at today. Unlike with previous tutorials uh, there is no distinction between the fourth and the, the other three uh, questions. They're all pretty much the same level. It's not like the fourth question is any more difficult. So if you feel you can have a go at these questions, I think it's a very good idea and that way, as you know, you'll get a good sense of what you can do without any additional help or input. And who knows, maybe you can do this already and you don't need any help, which is always a good feeling. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to have a go at this. The questions are very simple. Uh, if we just look at question number one here, to find P, do we need to use the sine or cosine rule? So to find this left side P, are we going to be needing this the sine or cosine rule? And then we have other questions which says to find this angle theta, do we need to use the sine or cosine rule? So have a go at that now, and I'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Well, welcome back if you had a go. So what I'm going to do now for anyone who did have a go is I'm going to reveal the answers so you can check how well you did. Okay, so for question number one, um, to find P, do we need to use the sine rule or cosine rule? And in actual fact, the answer to that was the cosine rule. And if you got that right, very well done. Question number two, to find theta, do we need to use the sine rule or cosine rule? And the answer to that was, we would need to use the sine rule. And again, if you got that right, very well done. Question number three, to find P, the side P, do we need to use the sine rule or cosine rule? And if you chose the sine rule, you would be indeed correct. And finally to question number four, to find the angle theta down here, do we need to use the sine rule or the cosine rule? And if you pick the cosine rule, you would be indeed correct. Now if you got all of those right, well done, you can stop the video there, go on to the next video in the series, or take a break, or if you're doing one a day, we'll see you again tomorrow. For those students who got a couple of those wrong, or all of those wrong, I'm now going to go through the full explanations. Okay, so to help you distinguish whether to use uh, the sine rule or the cosine rule when it comes to a non-right angle triangle finding a side or an angle, these little rules up here will probably be quite helpful. If we're looking for a sine rule, we must have two pairs of partners, and a partner is an angle and a side. So if we look at this triangle, for instance, I have a side and I have an angle, so that's one partnership but I have a side and another side. I don't have a partnering angle for this side or this side, so I don't really have two pairs of partners. So I would know that this is not a sine rule because I don't have two pairs of partners. Or I could look at it another way. I could, a cosine rule always has to have just one angle. Well, in this question here, I don't have two angles. I don't know this angle. I don't know that angle. I'm not trying to find this angle or that angle. So I only really have one angle involved. So I should also know, for that reason, that this is the cosine. Going on to question number two, um, I have a triangle here. Now I have an angle partnered with a side. I don't know that angle, but there is a partnership there. And I have another angle partnered with a known side. So although I don't know one of the angles, I do actually have two pairs of partners there. Now you could do it from another point of view if you want. You could say, well, cosine rule just has to have one angle. I've actually got two angles, I'm trying to find that one, I know that one. It's talking about two angles, it can't be the cosine rule. So that's why it's the sine rule. 
Okay, let's look at this one. So we know sine rule has to have two pairs of partners. And does this triangle have that? Well, it has a known angle, an unknown side. That would be one partnership there. And a known angle and a known side. So actually, I have two pairs of partners. If you do it from the cosine rule definition, it violates the cosine rule because there are two angles. Cosine rule is just one angle. So it must be the sine rule. Hopefully by now you're getting the idea uh, with this. I'm doing it from both point of views. I'm doing it from the sine rule and the cosine rule, but really you can just do it from one point of view. Um, so now I'm just gonna do this from the cosine rule point of view. So to find theta, do we need to use the sine rule or the cosine rule? So this one, I'm just gonna do it from the cosine definition point of view. So remember cosine, you always must have one angle. So let's just look into this triangle. Oh, there's one angle, three sides. That's got to be cosine rule. I don't even need to worry about the conditions for a sine rule because it fits the conditions for a cosine. It only has one angle. I know it's cosine. And that completes question four and this lesson for today. If you struggled with the four questions, you're still not too sure after the explanation, do come and see us at Tutor Tutor. We've got lots of great tutors that can give you a personal one-to-one -one lesson to help you really, really enforce that. So I hope that's been of some help today and see you next time for the next lesson in the series, which will be how to use the sine rule to work out angles and sides inside a non-right angle triangle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that video useful. If you'd like to watch more of our videos, just click the subscribe button here. Also, if you'd like to click the link down below, you can find out more about our one-on-one -on -one tutoring that we can find at Jesus Tutor.